pleasant good morning to you, farmers. Welcome to um, the Southern Shores, where we are about to nominate our man for this area in the person of Mr. Frankie Campbell. I now turn over this to him so that he can have a talk to you, to the nation, before we head to the um, polling where he would be nominated. Good morning, Southern Shores! Yeah. Bahamas, Southern Shores is taking another step towards the future yes, of not just Southern Shores, but the entire Bahamas. Yes, yes. This morning, yes. we will officially nominate for what will be a second term. Yes. A second term of building on what we've already done yes, towards your future. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna build on opportunities like education. Yes. We're gonna build on opportunities like entrepreneurship. We're gonna build on opportunities like housing. We're gonna build on opportunities like healthcare. We take this official step this morning because the foundation we have laid is about your future. Yes. The work that we can continue to do is about your future. Yes. And so sudden shows Yes. Let's do this. Yes. Let's do this yes. in decency. Yes. Let's do this in order. Yes. Let's do this respectfully. Yes. Let's do this yes. for all of us. Yes. For all of us. Yes. And so before we take our journey to the polls, as we do with everything else, we're going to ask God's guidance. Yes. We're going to ask God to accompany us yes. for the success and the victory yes. that we know that is already in hand. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Our Father of God, we thank you for this day that we have set aside to nominate all the candidates we are about to go into our general election. We ask your blessings, your guidance, and protection through all us Bahamas and all of those persons who might be participating in what we call a freedom as behaving to vote for the persons who we um, think that would be able to run our country into the near future. And so we give you thanks and praise now as we are about to leave. Thank you now. These papers we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's go, people. Let's, Let's go. go. Like I said, man, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's all about Frankie Campbell for some shores. Today is Friday's nomination day. Uh-huh. Yes.
about your future securing your future. It's all about Frankie Temple and the F and M. Yes, yes. Oh, come on, sudden shots. Like you was blossom in spring. Carnival is free for days. Oh, Lord, it's joy and love. The warmth of the season brings it. Carnival is free for days. Oh, why you like a honeymoon? Oh, wake up, sudden shots. Wake up, it's Snow Nation Day. Oh, come on, y'all, come on. It's showtime, it's showtime. Yes, sir. Uh, this is Frank 
Frankie Campbell just got nominated yes, the second he did. time. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling awesome. I'm feeling confident. I know Frankie, we don't want him here. We need him in such a shorts. People, look here. If you're this Frankie, you won't get feed. We give out bikes. We give out food. We give out assistance. We shelter the homeless. We feed the hungry. We put shoes on your feet. Clothes on your back every day. Food is just out here at the community center every day.
every day. I'm talking bohemian peas and rice, barbecue chicken, cold slaw, potato salad, macaroni salad, fish, conch, lobster, and shrimp. We are holding it down here for our man of business. He is a man. He has a plan. He has the young people interest as hard. He has the old people interest in heart. You can't do nothing unless he consults with his seniors. And that's wisdom. And I am all for Frankie. I am, I, I am here because his works speaks for him. I don't need him to come to my door every two days. Once I see him on TV, once he's in Parliament, once he's dealing with social services that people are being taken care of, I'm here. All right. Not scared. I'm red, but I'm not scared. Never scared. Thank you, Kayla. Okay, I'm Giovanni Stewart. You are? My name is Glenn Lang, G-L-E-N-N-L-A-I-N-G. All right, Glenn, um, I know you're originally from Abaco. You got devastated in Dorian. Yes. You're here in Nassau. You're registered in Southern Shores. Yes. Frankie just got nominated. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I'm proud for him to be my candidate, all right? Especially when you go to Parliament. He needs, he does everything thing from the heart. Okay, and he's a very, very nice person. Very light born. Mr. Lightborn, Frankie has just gotten a nomination. It's official. He gave his money. How are you feeling right now? Great. Great. Uh -huh. Great. We are and why? Go ahead. We're going to win Sudden Shores by 10 polls. I mean, 10, yeah, 10 polls. Good. And why is Frankie the man? He's done a good job in social service. <laughs> done a good job in Southern Shores. That is the reason why he should be elected again, okay? Thank you. Cyril Strawn. Cyril Strawn, um, you a long time resident of Southern Shores. Frankie's just gotten a nomination. How are you feeling right now? Well, I know we're gonna win it. That's all I'm feeling. I'm feeling ecstatic. We're gonna win. Why is Frankie the man for the job? See, Frankie comes as the type of person. He's the people's person. He's for everybody. He doesn't uh, Say you're F and I'm okay. Anybody who needs his right, assistance, right, 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 he right. goes there and does it, but in a quiet way. He doesn't go around broadcasting what he does to people. He just does what he has to do as a minister for sudden shores. Not for F and M's. Minister for everybody in sudden shores. Thank you. The National Movement, as the premier political party in this country, has the confidence in me to continue to be their banner bearer in the Sudden Shores constituency. I'm humbled to be a part of a team that is working hard towards education, that is working hard towards healthcare, that is working hard towards the environment, that is working hard towards entrepreneurship and enhancing the economic environment. Because these are the pillars that will truly impact the future of individual Bahamians and us as a nation. It is about our future. That is why we want to ensure that education is available from preschool to tertiary school. Education is the foundation for financial independence, for the ability to properly socialize and coexist one with the other, to be uh, appreciative of the need to respect each other's rights, etc. So education is the pillar of our future. It is education that will propel us into the the economy that the Free National Movement is preparing for the Bahamas. It is education that will enable us to take advantage of things like NHI, which will speak more to preventative health as opposed to getting sick and then looking for healing. It is the environment that we need to protect to make sure that we have a Bahamas that has sustainable fishing and farming for generations to come. This is the future that I am happy to be a part of, that I'm happy to be helping to create, that I know generations to come will look back and say, thank God for the free national movement of 2017 to 2021 and 2021 and beyond. Speak, speak, speak specifically to Southern Shores. Future, what, we, what is up next, what, what is coming? Southern Shores, when we first met, spoke to some issues spoke to issues of the lack of a community spirit. We've been able to address that in part with our neighborhood watches and I've been happy to partner with them. 
separate communities, having separate watches, but coming together when it's necessary. Yes, there is still some criminal element, but we've seen a significant decrease, and it is as a result of the community spirit that we've built, it is as a result of the neighborhood watches, it is as a result of neighbors now knowing neighbors and being able to look out for neighbors. We used to have a horrible situation of illegal dumping. Again, we launched a campaign called Love Your Yard. Love Your Yard sensitized the constituents of the need to look out for those illegal dumpers, for those nasty persons who would come into Southern Shores and dump. And we backed that up with a serious anti-dumping campaign, putting up posters in the Marshall Road areas and areas that were predominantly known for that dumping. We've also felt the cry and the pain of our farmers who would work hard trying to work towards sustainable um, feeding, sustainable farming, ensuring that there's food safety and security. But there are those persons unscrupulously who would watch them farm, don't offer any assistance. But as soon as that crop is ready to harvest, go and teeth, go and teeth the farmer's things. When we launch a campaign against predial larceny, stop stealing from farmers. Look out for farmers. Support your farmers. Become farmers yourselves. We offer backyard farming kits. You don't have to steal someone's banana or someone's um, vegetables. We'll assist you in growing your own. And so we, we heard the plea for infrastructural development. If you go into Miller's Heights right now, you will get tired of seeing brand new speed bumps, brand new street signs, brand new stop signs, brand new fresh marking on the streets. Because there was a time when cars weren't sure who should be stopping. There were accidents on a daily basis. We're not hearing that anymore. And we're pleased. We've kept our public spaces clean. Because that's important. It's important for, for a healthy living, um, for persons to have areas where they can go and exercise and breathe fresh air. We've increased what we had. There's an area in Misty Gardens that used to be an eyesore. A health hazard but it's now being transformed into a beautiful park. We've already put down the walking trail, which is probably one of the longest in this area. And we're going to develop tennis courts, um, play grounds for, for our kids, benches, parks. We're going to develop a beautiful edible forest. So we won't plant trees that only give shade. We're going to plant trees so when it's avocado season, you can get something from there. When it's fruit season, you can get something from there. Juju, canep, tamarind, you can get all of that in the farm in Miss D Gardens, which is also the playground and the walking trail. We have addressed an area in Marshall Road that used to be dark. There were no um, lights on the poles. We put lights on the poles there. The, the, the residents in Marshall Road continue to wait for the seawall that was promised. Well, I'm pleased to say to you, if you didn't hear in the recent budget debate, Desmond Bannister, the Minister of Works, promised that $500,000 has been set aside to begin the work on the Marshall Road seawall. And so we're working. Have we done everything? Not yet. But that is why we are on this road of continuity because the relationships that we've developed is necessary for us to continue to nurture those relationships, for us to continue, continue to gain momentum, to continue to build this future that we are working for on behalf of the people of Southern Shores. And all of those national um, initiatives that I spoke of, they include the people of Southern Shores. Southern Shores are part of that educational plan. Southern Shores constituents are a part of the health plan. Sudden Shores constituents are a part of the small business development program and I've been pleased to meet constituents of Sudden Shores who boast about the benefit that they personally have enjoyed. And so yes, it is, it has arrived in Sudden Shores and it is available to more of us. And so we can't stop now. We can't stop now. The Bahamas could be likened to a patient that is in the middle of a surgery. We can't stop now and switch doctors in the middle of the surgery. We've got to stick with the doctor 
who diagnosed the problem, the doctor who determined what the prescription would be, the doctor who initiated this surgery, and the doctor who will successfully complete the surgery and send this patient back to good health. Good health, Bahamas. Good health, Sudden Shore. Rock with Doc. Rock with Doc, Sudden Shores.